And meanwhile, the Chinese embassy in Nigeria is poised to aid the exposure and sale of local Nigerian goods in the Chinese markets. The Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Chu Chantun, made this known during a temple fair organized to mark the upcoming Chinese Lunar New Year. It disclosed that the Year of the Dragon would herald a new sense of collaboration between the Asian and African giants. Well, here's one the story. It was an atmosphere of food, culture and mutual connections at the temple fair in Abuja organized to mark the upcoming Chinese Lunar New Year. The Chinese ambassador to Nigeria, Choi Jianchun, spoke on more possibilities for China-Nigeria collaboration to get Nigerian products and commodities to the Chinese market within the next five years. The ambassador noted that the collaboration was necessary to bridge Asia and Africa. I'm very happy to share with you the two countries now, especially I'm proud of my tenure in doing things between the two great countries. We have our strategy, you know, the 5 g GDP strategy. We also advocate the harmony, symphony, symphony, harmony. And also we are working in the security sectors. So a lot of tangible results has been delivered since my arrival in Nigeria. For example, we have the game changer Lucky Deep Sea Port in Lagos. We have built a lot of industrial park. So I want to let you from infrastructure, from ICT, from investment in agriculture, mining sector, and oil and gas, insurance, banking sectors, and also the industry. So we have done a lot of industrial work here. The most important thing that I would like to let you know that we are encouraging Nigeria. We have more product commodities to be in the Chinese market in the coming five years. Also speaking, the chairman of the House Committee on Nigeria-China Relations, Jafaru Yakubu, disclosed that Nigeria would be hosting an event to celebrate the Chinese New Year to reciprocate the friendship received from China. As we approach or as we are celebrating the 2024 Chinese New Year, I am pleased to announce Nigeria will be hosting a spectacular event to celebrate this important cultural festival, the Chinese New Year Temple Fair. This year, we are thrilled to bring vibrant and colorful celebrations to Nigeria. As a symbol of strong and growing relationship between our two nations. The Federal Character Commissioner representing Enugu, Kinika To, spoke on the need to build bilateral relationship further. Chinese has a lot of businesses here in Nigeria. And Nigeria ha has always welcomed collaborations. Our country, Nigeria, is known for hospitality. And I think the best way they can, one of the ways they can also give back to also reassure Nigerians that we are still working together is to have activities that you know, combine Nigerians and, uh, and them. As you can see, it's a mixture of, of, uh, of uh, audience here. Personalities from different folks, walks are here. On his part, IPAC chairman Yusuf Dantali stated that Nigeria could learn from China's party system. The, the Communist Party of China celebrated uh, 100 years okay, of its uh, existence and its uh, leadership. And one of the things they do is that the party is supreme. The party comes first. You understand? And that is the part, and that is what we had in Nigeria in the past. Party came supreme. So the party should be strengthened, okay, above the individual. But what we have here in Nigeria is that the individuals are stronger than the political institutions. We should strengthen the institutions above the individual. The Chinese New Year, which falls on 10th February, is the year of the dragon after the 12-year cycle of the Chinese zodiac.